we'll try to understand how to use kprog to debug the kernel so we have taken we'll start this is the kernel 6.2 so to start with and just check the mount command to check whether debug fs is installed so it should be in this kernel debug so to confirm this you can go to boot and you can go to config since it is to a 6.2 kernel you go to this config file and search for debug fs sorry you should search for k probe so k probe is why then means it is supported so this is the first step so you should if it is not there then you should do make menu config enable the debug of us and then only we can proceed with the next step so now as the command says it is mounted in six kernel debug so we can move to that part Go to sys kernel debug tracing. So here in this file, you should go to tracing on. So this should be enabled. Only then you can do this. So you can enable disable by using echo command. So this is actually disabling. You can enable back. So here you have to use the trace. Here tracer should be NOP. Only then you can use this debug FS. So you have one more uh, video to trace the trace FS file that you can check by where you can change this tracer option. So now we are going to see the output only in this tracer. <coughs> we will start. So for that, first initially you should know this code to do this. So what are all the files we need to affect is kprof events. Here you have to update and this will show the output. These are the only two files. You need kprob event as well as kprob profile will be the output. So what to write in this file? So go to the boot prompt here. So you have a system.map file. So this will have all the symbols which are installed in the kernel. So you can use this. Or you can use this file as well. Okay, all symbols. So this will give all the files which are, uh, sorry, all the functions which you can do as a uh, probe and you can check. So not all the files can be used. So for example, here I am taking a ping command. So I have identified two different functions. One is ICMP sent and the other is ICMP receive. We will try to trace this. So this is ICMP send. You search that file here. This is the address location. The symbol table. So this. So now to trace this, this should not be a static or inline. So how to confirm it is? You have to have a source code here. If you don't have a source code, you can go to the online browser. So yeah, this I have added added in the blog this link. So this is nothing but the source code browser link. So here you could directly come, you can put the ICMP send. So here if you see it is not a static or inline. So you we can do a probe for this. So the second function which I have found is ICMP receive. This is not also not a static or inline. So we can probe. So this has a return value that is not having a return value. So even you can grep like this in the system. Okay, like this you can grep to find the address. So you have to write the probe event. So how to write is P is for probe, R is for return value. So what we are going to write is we are going to probe this ICMP send 
and ICMP received. So for ICMP send, this is a dummy function which we are writing. So it can be any function. Just to identify debug, I have given debug underscore ICMP. Then what are all the flags you want to print? You can print clone, a stack address, register, parent uh, red ID, child red ID, plus four address like this we are printing. So this is for send, this is for receive. And for receive, we also have a return value. So for that, we are writing a new probe. So that is having a return value. So all these we are writing inside the K probe event. So you, I'll just copy this. I've added this function in the blog. You can take it if required or you can write your own function. So before that, before writing, if you go to sys kernel debug and probes, here yeah, you can find the list. The list of all we have enabled. So we have not enabled anything. So this is a blacklist. So for these functions, you can never apply a probe. So that's why, because it will listen assembly or it will um, block the kernel or run inside the loop. So that's why they have identified some functions and they have put that here. So you should not try to do probe for this. That's why it is given as a blacklist. So now once we add our uh, variable, this should come to the list. So that is the expectation. So now initially, profile is empty. Event is also empty. I'll just copy that, whatever we have. We send the whatever I have explained is the same thing. So only two are added, the third one is missed. Okay. So it has added all the three probes. One is probe debug ICMP send, and then other one is receive, other one is the return value for the receive. So now if you see the probe profile, so you will have to see, but no hit is there. So that's why we are getting zero zero. We will make it hit, then we should be able to get value. Even trace will not have anything because we have not yet started. So to remove any particular variable, uh, for example, I want to remove this. How to remove is we echo hyphen colon and then we should do a problem. So when it is already enabled or running, we cannot do this. So the last variable is removed. The profile is removed. We'll add it back. This is even and this is profile. So now we have added. Now we'll go and see in the list. List was empty. See now all three variables are added. This is the pointer address in the k, k symbol table. You have to check this. If this is wrong, then you cannot do that. So this is the receive call <coughs> because for return value, this is for send. So all are disabled. So now we have to enable it. How to enable is, so once you give this command in trace, inside event, you will have a K probe created. So before that, it will not be there. So what all traces you have enabled? So you have given three events. So three different file, files, folders will be created. This is the global enable function. This is zero. We have to enable it. So we will go and see inside each of the ICMP receive. So here I am just putting star. See so this not enable filter. So this is the format on the TID which we want to print. In the output you will get this. Uh, you remember what we have written in the file. So it is the same thing. Clone, clone, stack variable, register and everything. We'll see one more uh, send will be the same, but we'll see the uh, receive option. So here, this format here it will print the first page x from where from this is from kernel function to this function, and this is the argument. So this will print the argument. So now we will try to run and we can check. Place is there. So as we'll see with an example in. 
google.com i'm just thinking go to the trace file it's not there because we have not enabled so we have to enable it so for enabling go to events a prop in that we have a variable called as enable so make it one so now you can go to logs and we can check whether it is enabled see all are enabled now we should be able to get the traces just give a ping we have got this is our probe function this is the actual probe function this is the address pointer this is c1a the receiving function it is the same one this is the stack address this is the register this parent process id child id the id so this is called from irq that is interrupt context so this is return return value is it returns the value as 0 So this will be very useful. You can add probes wherever you re require. So now we will try to do an error message to uh, get and see the. I'm sending a packet which is not reachable. So these two, these two were the old traces. Now this, this is the new trace. So now extra we got a send. Because some unreachable we are present, so that is why or unknown. So this is a flag. This is stack start address, register, and all these things. So like this, you can enable and debug. So if you want to disable the traces, as I said, we have uh, now you can even see this profile. This is event profile should have hit. So ICMP send has read hit only one time. This here has hit two times, and return has hit two times. So using this command, you can check this log. Is still the same. Now we need to disable it. As I said already, we can disable it by echo minus. But it will not allow because it is busy. So what we have to do? First, we have to go to the event a prop. Enable. So this should become zero now, and we have to make sure that all the variables inside this is zero. Zero. This is also zero. All are zeros. So now this function should work. So we just copy this variable also. So that is remote. So this will do a proper cleanup. So all are deleted now. So you can event is null. We should always clean it so that. Is not overloaded, so even the events also should be deleted. The K probe itself is deleted. So this is the proper clean. This is also a very useful tool. You can probe the kernel parameters, return value. You can understand. You can even dump all the structures and everything. It's very useful tool. You can use this for debugging. Thank you.